Alright, so we're going to welcome to part 7 of my PlayStation 2 games collection. This is going to be 8 parts. Um, I've still got a, a decent amount to show, I suppose. Um, far too much to get done, I would say, in a, in a single part. So we're going to say 8 parts for the whole um, PS2 game collection. So, um, yeah, let's get um, let's just get straight on with it, shall we? First one, Red Faction 2. Yeah. I used to have the original Red Faction uh, when I first, more or less when I first got the PS2, but I sold it because I don't know why, but I got lost in it. Um, I did enjoy, it, you know, how you could destroy like environments, like walls and stuff. I did like that, but I can remember getting lost in the game, and I had this really bad thing when I was younger. Um, but if I got stuck in a game, I just got rid of it because I got annoyed. I didn't know what I was doing, so I got rid of the games. Um, of course, you can look at walkthroughs and stuff now. That was before I had the internet, you know. But, uh, yeah, you can look at walkthroughs and stuff now. And I probably shouldn't have got stuck in it. I mean, it's a first-person shooter. You don't really get stuck in many first-person shooters. But anyway, this is Red Faction 2. I bought this about six months ago, I would say. i um, not played it too much. Maybe about half an hour. Um, from what I played with it, it did seem like a, you know, a really good game. I don't know if I'll bother like, playing through it. Um... It's not like high on my priorities to get through, but you know, I would quite like to go back to it sometime and maybe uh, give it more of a shot. But like I say, there's more important games that I want to complete first, you know. But yeah, Red Faction 2. And just throw that over there. He's my favourite fighting game series, uh, Soul Calibur 2. Uh, fantastic game, guys, fantastic game. I like how it's got Heihachi from uh, Tekken in it, you know, from the Tekken series. It was a good addition, and in the third game, they added Yosemite. So they seemed to like adding Tekken characters in this. So, um, yeah, good good on you, Namco. Good on you. So, um, yeah, to be quite honest, although I really enjoyed this, I can't really remember too much about it. Uh, yeah, but from what I remember, it was a really, really good fighting game. So, yeah, Soul Calibur 2, amazing. Um, I'm always going to like Soul Calibur better than Tekken, in my opinion, you know. I'm always going to like Soul, Bo uh, Soul Blade better than Tekken for the PS1, even though I absolutely love Tekken 3, but Soul Blade, Soul Calibur, love it. So I've got to say, I love it. Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, first Grand Theft Auto game I ever played, and it was a really good game to start off with. It was really, really good. Number one best selling game on PlayStation 2. So uh, yeah, it's a popular game. Obviously, Grand Theft Auto was a really you know popular series. Even to this day, it still remains really popular. And yeah, for its time, this was a fantastic game. You know, great radio stations. You know, just great, great everything. Great gameplay. The storyline seemed pretty good, even though I can't remember too much about it. Uh, too much about it. But from what I can remember, it was a pretty good storyline as well. I got really far into the game, but I got stuck and. I can't remember what happened. I think I just gave up. Uh, but when I was younger, I used cheats in the games. You know, the, the weapons, the weapon cheat, the health cheat. You know, cheats to get different vehicles and stuff, which I hate, which I never do now. Uh, so I need to go back and maybe give us another shot. I'm in the middle of playing San Andreas, so I should go back and play this and Vice City again. But um, yeah, I got pretty far, but gave up because I found it pretty, uh, pretty tough when I was uh, a bit younger. TD Overdrive, the Brotherhood of Speed, which is Test Drive, I believe. Yeah, Test Drive, it's a Atari game, and it seemed decent, not really, you know, not really a racer that I really got into totally. Uh, it did seem quite tough, and I, one thing I hated about it is it was kind of fixed. Kind of fixed in a way. So basically, if you're like really far behind the other cars, the other cars are like slow down and you'll catch up to them. Whereas if you're ahead of them, they'll keep up with you, and uh, it'll be a really close race. But if you fall behind, they'll just wait on you. I mean, it's a bit silly to be honest. It's like as if the cars can't like bear to be apart for long, if you know what I mean. It's like elasticated racing, kind of. Yeah, I, I wasn't a big fan of it, so yeah. TD Overdrive. <laughs> no strange game that I own. Um, Sega Bass Fishing Duo. Uh, surprisingly really fun. Um, I did actually like the old fishing games, you know, I had one on the, the PS1. And uh, yeah, I just really wanted to get this. My dad and I used to play this a lot, like two players and stuff, and had a lot of fun with it. It was a really fantastic fishing game. 
Best I've played? Hell yeah. I would say the best fishing game I've played. Uh, obviously it's bass fishing, you catch um, bass. I think there's other things as well, bluefin. What would tell me? Pike. There's a uh, pike, which are the you know, like fish with the big teeth that you find in like locks and stuff. And uh, locks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, northern pike, um, chain pickerel, a wally, a bluegill, a bluegill. That's the one I meant. What did I say? I don't know. Bluefin. I think I said bluefin. But yeah, eight different types of species. So if anybody that likes fishing games, get this one. Highly recommended. Unfortunately, my disc's a bit scratched and it freezes a lot, but um. Really good game, really fun for its time, and uh, yeah, really uh, surprising I've got that in my collection, but yeah, I really enjoyed that uh, back in the day, not touched it for years. Ago. And here's a case that's been eaten by a mouse, well actually it was me, I was a bit, I was a bit hungry one night and I had no food, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just taking the piss again. Um, the Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, um, I find the Lord of the Rings games are really, really, uh, really, really tough. But um, I didn't like the new Lord of the Rings game, but this was pretty decent, I've got to say. What I played of it, really enjoyed it. Got halfway through it, and I started fighting some guys that were really, really tough. Some like, I don't know, like, like tiger masks or something? I seem to have a vague memory of uh, tiger masks, which is a bit strange, actually. But um, tiger masks. And they really seemed tough, and I kept dying, and I gave up. But, um, yeah, I think it wasn't too long after you fight that big troll guy. So uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings of Two Towers. And my favourite character was probably um I don't know the guy's names. <laughs> um I don't even know the guy's names. It wasn't Gimli. Even though Gimli's alright. It wasn't Gimli. It was Oh I hate to do this guys, I really hate to do this. If I could pause this camera right now I'd bloody leave I'm telling you. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, Aragon, yeah, Aragon. Why could I not remember his name? I'm not, I'm not big into Lord of the Rings. You see, I don't watch the films. I just can't really, you know, see myself sitting down for like three hours watching a film. I did it with the Harry Potter films, but because I loved Harry Potter, but Lord of the Rings wasn't really marking the thing. But the games are pretty decent, I must say, apart from the new one. Like, like I said, uh, Conquest, whatever it was. Something like that. But yeah, pretty decent game. Um, but tough. Um, I should go back and play it again. Might not find it as tough now. Oh god, I actually forgot I had this game. Uh, 007 Everything or Nothing. I actually picked this up not long ago. Uh, she's pretty nice, is she not? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it seemed like a pretty decent Bond game. It's a, it's a third person Bond game, which was cool, you know, because. I think most of them will be first person shooters now with the Bond games, probably. But yeah, a uh, third person shooter. And seemed really good. Played the first mission and really enjoyed it, but again not went back to play it. But yeah, double seven, everything or nothing. <clears throat> now like arcade fighter, not really my kind of series not really my kind of fighting series. Uh, but you know it's pretty decent for a uh, you know a shot now and again. And it is Virtua Fighter 4. Of course, uh, Sega, uh, there's a lot less combos in this game than there are in, like, let's say, Tekken, Soul Calibur, Street Fighter. But um, doesn't doesn't um, stop it from being a, a really fun uh, arcade uh, fighter, you know? But not that I do combos in uh, games, uh, in fighting games anyway, you know? I just press any button and hope for the best, you know? Just bum a uh, button mash, really, for the win. Uh, is what I tend to do most of the time. Um, but yeah, Virtua Fighter 4, pretty uh, pretty fun uh, arcade fighter. Yeah, not bad at all. Wouldn't pay like a lot of money for it, just a couple of pounds just to play it now and again. Next one game, Pool Paradise. A really fantastic game of pool, uh, surprisingly. Uh, I didn't actually think I was going to like this too much, but it turned out to be a really awesome uh, pool game. Yeah, you've got darts as well, you've got a, a one-man bandit or something, I don't know. That, an arcade machine, I can't actually remember what it is. It could be Defender. No, it's Drop Zone. Drop Zone. I was right with the Defender, I was right with the D. So, um, yeah, Drop Zone. I uh, can't remember too much about it. You get uh, coconut shy as well. And you can also play on a whole load of like crazy tables. Like tables that are, like, you know, like in the shape of a, an X. You know, a plus sign. 
So some really funky tables and a really good game. And of course there's Jimmy White, a fantastic pool and a snooker player. True Crime New York, uh, New York City. I uh, really loved the first one. This game was pretty good as well. But it's not going to be the first one in my opinion. Then prove some things how you could like have your own cars, uh, have your own weapons, which I thought was fantastic, you know, because uh, the first game you could only like pick up weapons that you found and um, obviously nick people's cars and stuff. I think you had four cars in the first game. You can unlock four cars by winning races. Uh, but this you could have loads of cars and uh, loads of different weapons, sledgehammers, rocket launchers, you name it, you could have it. Uh, but the characters, meh. It's Marcus, I think it's called Marcus. He's a good character, don't get me wrong, he's a good character, but Nick Kang from uh, the first game is going to be the, always going to be my favourite. So, uh, yeah, I would say overall gameplay wise an improvement, but character wise, nah, Nick Kang for the win. Another game I forgot I had, um, which may be a good thing, I don't know, <laughs> it's Brian Lara Cricket 2007. Just picked this up for 99p at a chart shop, just never played a, a, a cricket game. So I really wanted to give it a shot, just to see what a cricket game feels like, and it seemed pretty fun. But I only played it for like 10 minutes, because I was busy with other, uh, I like to play other games, but I should go back and give this a, um, you know, a full try, you know. Because I didn't even try a full match, <laughs> I only played it for like 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I didn't play it, f I should really go back and, you know, play it for a full match, to, to get my, you know, get my full opinion on it, I suppose. But yeah. Brian Lara Cricket 2007. I don't know anything about cricket, but I do like playing sports games, you know. I mean, I don't watch ice hockey, but I love the sports games. Eh, uh, yeah. Got almost out of time. <clears throat> Dead or Alive 2. Another really fun uh, fighting game. Obviously, this, it's got, you know, it's got eye candy, I suppose. The Dead, uh, Dead or Alive games. It's got eye candy, as you can probably tell. Yep. Well, you like a bit of eye candy now, now and again, don't you? But uh, yeah, I played it for about an hour, I think, when I first got it, and really good fighting game actually, really good. Not just the eye candy, it was actually um, a fun game to play as well, you know, really fun, uh, solid fighting game. So Dead or Alive 2, awesome. Here they're making a new one, so thumbs up for that one. Aiko, oh god, not Aiko. I played this at the weekend. This is what people like. People love this game. You know, it's got a huge following. I can't. I can't like it. I'm afraid. I just can't like it. I'm afraid. Uh, played it for half an hour at the weekend. And I recorded myself playing it as well. I'm gonna upload that on my Gamers on Five Thousand channel uh, sometime this week. But I was going in not very hopeful after I heard uh, heard uh, Starter Dead One Zero Zero Nine's uh, comments, and he, he didn't like it too much either. And I agree with him. It's not my kind of thing either. It's confusing as old hell. And can't really see myself getting into it, I'm afraid. Which is a shame, because I thought I would, you know, kind of enjoy it, you know, but no, not my kind of thing. Metal, Metal, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Uh, yeah, fantastic game, guys. I always liked the original Medal of Honor, but I never owned it. My, my my uncle had it, and I used to play it and watch him play it when I was uh, when I was younger, you know, well, ten year old, eight year old, something like that. Uh, yeah, really good game, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 as well. I just one thing that puts me off Medal of Honor. <laughs> Medal of Honor. One thing that puts me off Metal Gear Solid is just how long you know the cutscenes are. I mean. Sometimes you have to question whether you're playing a game or watching a movie. Uh, it really can be that bad, which is a shame because the gameplay is, you know, really solid and really, really fun. Uh, yeah. But yeah, sometimes the cutscenes put me off, I'm afraid. Uh, I just don't like games with long cutscenes. But uh, yeah, it was a really good game. Did complete it and I uh, really enjoyed it. But I got confused at the end. Something went weird with the story. But no spoilers, okay? No spoilers. <clears throat> Oh, I've got the one of hiccups now, it's not... It's teasing me for saying Metal Runner instead of uh, Metal Gear Solid, I'm gonna get hate for that probably. Slip of the tongue, damn it. Uh, Soul Calibur 3, bloody amazing. Absolutely love it. I hear a lot of people don't actually, um... We're not actually too fond of this one, they thought it was a disappointment, but for, for me, I just think it was a bloody amazing game, you know? Huge character selection as well, you know? Amazing. 
can't remember how, how many characters were in it, but there were tons, you know? Almost every character from, like, Soul Blade was in it, apart from uh, that Soul Edge guy, it's the skeleton guy. I think everybody else was uh, in it. I'm not sure if Hwang, Hwang was in it. But yeah, really fantastic game, guys. I like how you can, um, I think you could do it in Soul Calibur 2 as well, but you can buy, like, weapons and buy, like, additional uh, items for your costume and stuff. Um, so yeah, really fantastic game, guys. It's uh, Soul Calibur 3. And I'm going to call it here, guys, I think. Um, this is going to go into part 8. will be the last part, uh, definitely, definitely. Got about, what, maybe 14 games to show here, so I should be okay time-wise for... Uh, the next video. Yep. Yeah. Sure, you guys, thanks for watching this video. And, um, yeah, remember, Metal Gear Solid, not Metal of Honor. I still can't believe I said that. It's gonna, it's quite embarrassing, to be honest. Uh, so, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I must have Metal of Honor in my mind. And I'll um, catch you all later. See you guys. Take care.